Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're on the new vessel and going out to pull some crab pots and maybe do a bit of rod fishing. So stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! So I'll give you a little show around the vessel, guys. We've got the 50 horse Mercury here that we're going to be warming up, ready for our trip. We've got the four horse auxiliary, and this is the smash vessel. All of it's been rewired, fish finder, navy, we've got VHF radio, that needs to be put on soon. We've got anchor well in the front, we've got 250 meters of anchor rope, so most of the water around Guernsey doesn't go over much past 200 feet, so we've got plenty of rope. Yeah, she's a cracking little vessel. So I get her warmed up, we're gonna head out there. And we are off. We're in only two foot of water at the moment, so we've got to be a little bit careful coming out the bay. Then we are sailing the high seas. Ah, can't wait. First time pulling the pots in the smash vessel. We are out. Thing is round here, I've got rocks all the way around me, so there's a certain passage you've got to take out of here. It's definitely not a place to mess around. We get outside the bay, we're hammered down, baby. First keeper of the year for sure. That's what I do, guys. We're gonna go drive into a safe spot and I'll show you what we got. Woohoo! Come on, we got a keeper spider first pot. And we still have two more to go. Hopefully, we can get a few more. First pot of the day. Check that one out. That's not a bad spider. Not a monster one by any means. The other one's a bit bigger. But that is a keeper nonetheless. Always go by the rule of thumb. If it's bigger than my hand, then uh, that's a keeper. So we've got one spider there. Nice size spider. Too small though. Lovely to see these coming in. Tiny little one, look at that little male. A lot of males, that's for sure. Hopefully we have a year like last year where it was all big males we had. That's what I do. That's one keeper spider. That one goes in there, we'll get the bait out in a minute. That's the first pot empty. Not for the second pot. There's a lot better spider in this one. Look at that one. That's a lovely sized spider. Look at that. It's a nice fat one. That's definitely going in the cook pot. <laughs> and all the rest, just a lot of small stuff. Not what we want. Funny how they're all males though, not one female crab. Right, I'm excited for the next drink. Let's get these baited, let's get them chucked out. I'm gonna keep the bait in there that I have already. I put big chunks of wrasse in. Uh, I did a video on the members of how I, when I took these out and how I baited them up on that. So in this one, I'm just gonna put some scad and just refill it up because uh, the bait is really good. So happy days. 
Take that one off. We're on to the next one. Hopefully we can get a lobster, but I'm over the moon with a nice spider crab. First spider of the year. There we go. crab pots guys make sure your feet is out of the rope you're not going to get tangled up the last thing you want to do is end up in the water with a rope around you because you won't come back Another half decent spider there. It's a bit smaller than the others, so we'll let that one go. Little velvet swimmer. A few more spiders. A little brown crab. In this pot, guys, we've got loads of males. It's all male spiders. Nice little brown crab there. Female. Tell by the circular apron there. Nice. Happy days for the first drop. We didn't do too bad, really. Two keeper spiders. I'll get rid of all this lot, guys. We're getting back out. Just creeping our way into a reef here. Hoping for some lucky Larry. feathers i like these ones with the little bits of rubber on because they uh they tend to get the pollock a lot better so what i do is get my weight on get down there and hopefully we can look into some fish it'd be nice to land the first fish on the smash vessel back on the mooring now guys it actually got quite rough out there i headed out a bit further to a, a reef and the wind blew up so i decided to come back we'll have a nice cook up with the two spider crabs we got Engine's still uh, running absolutely amazing. I'm really chirping with the boat. So uh, yeah, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. I couldn't have done this without you guys. So uh, you deserve a massive thank you. So yeah, I appreciate the smash fan. into a one-man blow-up dinghy. 
<laughs> this is always fun. We had me and Sam in here not long ago. And uh, I tell you, that was a bit of a mission. I've literally got to put my feet up when I've got buckets here. There you go, guys. That's the smash vessel in all her glory. Beautiful boat. A lot faster than I thought as well. Hey, okay, gonna have some good times in the future. Back in the kitchen now, guys. We've got some lovely sized spider crabs here. Some absolute chunks. So what I'm gonna do is quickly dispatch them. And we're gonna get them boiled up and then gonna make a nice delicious meal for tea later on. Beautiful. Once that gets to a boil, all we're going to do is boil these for 10 minutes. They're not huge crabs, but these will cook nicely in about 10 minutes. And when you take them out, they will still cook, so keep that in mind. Beautiful. Check those bad boys out, guys. First spider crabs of the season. And we were lucky enough to get them on the vessel. So I'll tune in later on and we'll make a nice delicious meal out of these bad boys. Back in the kitchen again guys. I've been picking this crab, it's quite late at night actually. So I thought I'd have a late night snack. I've done one crab and you can see, I've got three quarters of a bowl of meat there. They're quite full crabs these. So I thought I'd just run you through how to roughly um, pick a crab. I'm no expert by any means, but a few little tips, they never hurt. With the legs, all you want to do is bend them backwards. So what it does is the knuckle will pop out and you get the meat with it. And all of them will pop out like that. If you're nice and gentle and you'll start getting the really big chunks like so. Really simple. Look at that. And the claw meat is usually a big lump. So simple as that. Popping the legs off. Bending them backwards, that's a big old chunk. That's mine, that one. Mm. Yeah, and you can just get the meat out like so. Really simple. Very easy to do. Just a little bit of patience and try not to splash yourself. And with the shell, this is a question I get asked a lot with it. I'm not a fan of the brown meat. So I don't eat the brown meat in, the, in crabs. I may eat the inner shell a little bit, but Apart from that, I don't eat the brown meat. And with these sockets, what you want to do is just scrape out any remainders because often there'll be big chunks of meat just left inside there and you don't want to waste any of the spider crab. It's such a delicious crab. Probably my favorite out of all of the crab species we get over here because it's so sweet and it's delicious, especially when you start getting the big four or five pounders you can really build up a good meal out of them. Can't wait to get out with Sam sometime, pull the pots and we'll enjoy some nice, nice spider crab on the boat. So there you go guys, that's the crab all, all put out there, all of the knuckles. And what you want to do is get the back of the crab open like so. A lot of people like to eat this stuff, I'm not into it. These are called the dead man's fingers, so what you do, Pull those off, just like that. Get all of that off, get the mouth off, and any bits you don't want. If you pull down the back here, it will pull out the poo pipe and the, org the reproductive organs. Messy little job, but it is now fun. Kids love this sort of stuff. Well, I did when I was a kid. So yeah, just cleaning it up like so. And all you wanna do, get out any bits you don't want. And what I like to do, crack it in half, just like so. Give it a little shake just to get all the brown meat out and then you're left with the nice flaky white meat. Delicious. And from there, you get where the knuckles used to be. Get your knife halfway, cut down and open up. And as you can see, it opens up all of the sockets for the meat. 
And all you have to do now is literally just scrape them out and you can start pulling it all out pretty easily. You'll find one side is a lot easier than the other. Just like that. And from us pulling the knuckles out originally, it's taken a lot of the meat out of it. So it makes just for easier pickings. With the claws here guys, really easy. This part, a lot of the time I would just eat this. It's a nice little snack for sitting here for ages. But what you do, just crack really lightly and slowly pull it out. And often you'll get all of the meat. With some crabs you won't. And you just crack open the shell. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. You can just pull it off, leaving the feathers. So there we go, guys. I'm finishing off this crab now. And what I'm going to have is a good old traditional crab sandwich. Can't really go wrong with it. Smash is barking because he wants some crab. <laughs> I might let him down in a minute because there's no seasoning with this crab whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is finish off these now. Just crack them all open. The ones that the feather comes out, all I've got to do is get the nutcrackers and just crack it open. Job done. Now for the fun part, guys. And then get some crab. Smash has never tried spider crab before. Same with anything new that I bring into the house. I always let him try a little bit. Hey, bud. Yeah, like that. That's it. Good boy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit aside just for Smash. Not a lot. Obviously, crab isn't the best thing for dogs. You stay. You like the smell of this, eh? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting some black pepper in there. Stay. Some sea salt. Smash. Sit. Thank you. And then some good old vinegar. This is an old school way of just having crab, especially spider crab. You're trying, isn't you? And all you've got to do is just mix it up. It's amazing the flavour this gives it. Don't need anything special, stay. And then, uh, don't need anything special with this. I love it. This is how me and my dad used to eat it when I was younger. And then we got a nice piece of buttered bread, karate chop in the middle, and get your hands in there, and just pile it full of crab. Oh yeah. Does that look good, buddy? Can we kiss Kisses? Kisses? Ooh. There we go. Piling the crab in there like that, guys. And look how much crab's actually in there. There's quite a lot here. I'm going to have a crab sandwich on the boat tomorrow. That's a beast. Right, do you want to try some? Smash has never tried spider crab before. Oh, good boy. You like that? Is that nice? Kisses? Oh, you like it. There you go. Cool. Right, my turn. My turn for a bite. Mmm. Every year, it never gets old. Good old bit of crab sandwich. Mmm. You like that, eh, bub? You like spider crab? Oh, give me kisses. Mmm. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. I'm going to finish off this delicious meal. Smash is going to have a little bit more crab. And a good boy. Oh, it brings back a lot of memories, this does. Just having a plain crab sandwich. Just with salt, pepper and a bit of vinegar. Definitely worth a go if you're looking for something just simple. Mmm, really good. Last piece, because you can't have salt and vinegar. Is that good? Good boy. You dare. You dare. Thank you. Hey, scruff bag. <laughs> Stay tuned guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! You're a good boy. Go back. Just my crab. I picked it. Took me ages to pick these. Can't have it. No, not yours. Okay, one more piece. Thank <laughs> you.